we shall now take a look at a problem and we are going to solve it using an array of structures let us first understand what this problem is all about it says input the register number name and class of all the students in a class store the data into a structure and output the data in a tabular manner with proper headings so i have included the normal header files as i usually would because i am not doing anything special or extraordinary but first i am trying to define the structure i am saying structure student it's got register number it's got the name and it's got the section of the student so register number could be 100 101 so on name could be ram sham suhana whatever it is section is section a section b section c section d or if you have 101 section 102 103 and so on so what i am doing here is i have declared an array s yes, of ability to hold 50 students data of the type student so of this particular model or prototype i have declared yes of 50 that means i can store data for 50 students now i j and n i is required because you're using an array so that you can get into the particular student reference s of 0 s of 1 s of 2 and so on so what i am going to do is first i'm going to ask the user how many students data he or she wishes to enter although i have a capacity for 50 i may be only storing the data of 10 students so n will store or n will hold how many students you are going to record or capture the data of now what i am going to do here is using the for loop i am just going to read the data for each student i is 0 i less than n this is a simple loop based on the value of n suppose n is 5 for 5 students i am going to read the register number name and section see how i am referring to using the array convention i am saying s yes, square bracket i dot registration number so when i is 0 the 0th student registration number is entered into the structure 0th student name 0th student section this way for all the 10 or 20 students the data is entered now i am just printing out this stuff so that these are just the headings registration number name section and class these are just the headings because the problem has asked us to print in a tabular or column form the data now just look how simple it is here what i have done is for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus i have printed registration number a little bit space name a little bit space and section this is never going to be perfect the spacing you will have to play around on the screen adjust it so that it comes in a particular column you can use the set width so you get it in correct width and the output is correct so i'll just strike out j because i don't think j has ever been used so j is an unnecessary variable here i am not using so this hopefully should have given you an idea how you can read and print names registration number and class of up to 50 students in a class